Hi everyone, good day. My name is Shredi and I worked on exploring dysregulations in immunological pathways during spaceflight under the guidance of Dr. Afshin Khan along with my team member Sally Ha. Immunometabolism is an emerging field of study where we deal with how metabolism affects the functions of immune system and in return how immune system affects the metabolic pathways. Immunometabolism in spaceflight and especially in astronauts is gaining huge popularity because of the space exposomes to which the astronauts are subjected to which would aggravate the underlying causes of immunometabolic dysfunction which would manifest later as immunometabolic disorders in astronauts. So in this uh, research we split it into two phases where we first dealt with the literature review in order to first understand what exactly immunometabolism is and then we uh, studied immunometabolism under the backdrop of uh, astronauts and space flight and then we focused our study on what kind of metabolic pathways are affected during space flight which would uh, in turn affect the immune system and vice versa and in the second phase we uh, procured data sets from the open sources and processed those data sets in order to find what kind of genes were differentially expressed and how these genes were involved in immunometabolic disorders. The literature survey uh, helped us understand that space in fact affected immune system and metabolism to a greater extent, especially glucose and um, lipid metabolism were severely influenced and corticosterone levels were increased which attributed to the stress the astronauts were going through. And with the targeted search, we found that gut microbiome had a role in uh, also causing immunometabolic disorders because it forms an interface between Im uh, immune system and also the metabolism. So we speculate that focusing on this particular aspect could be the key to unraveling how immunometabolism manifests in the first place and how to find solutions to those disorders. And in the second phase, we started collecting data sets of the astronauts and then we process those data sets to find what genes were upregulated but also significant in nature and running those genes in the batch query tool in order to find um, how significant they are in terms of the metabolic pathways and immune system dysfunctions. So in the first data that we analyzed, the samples were taken from astronauts who were in the ISS for more than 120 days and this uh, data set showed that the mitochondria were severely dysregulated and all the genes that uh, were found in this data set were particularly focused on uh, mitochondria and with this analysis we found that 13 genes were upregulated and significant out of which the phi had a direct impact on immune system uh, suggesting that uh, dysregulations in mitochondria inevitably affected the immune system. So in the second set of analysis, the samples were taken from two different age groups and those samples were flown in the ISS. Uh, with processing the gene sets that we have obtained, we found that 20 genes were found to be upregulated and uh, significant in all kind of uh, data sets. The most interesting aspect of this particular data analysis is that uh, we found tachykinin precursor 4 is upregulated. We generally know that tachykinin is a gene that is found in HP axis and enteroendocrine cells which have a hand in both uh, metabolism and immune system responses. So this particular gene encodes hemokinin 1 which is a peptide that is greatly involved in immune and inflammatory responses. And since it is a relatively new gene, uh, sorry, peptide, many studies are going on, many researches are going on in order to understand how exactly it functions and the potential of this particular peptide. It is also known that this uh, hemokinin 1 is very similar to substance P in terms of functions and structure. So I believe that exploring much on tachykinins and the uh, peptides that they encode would be the key to understand the immunometabolism and also to find answers to the disorders and dysfunctions that arise out of immunometabolism. With this, I conclude my presentation. Thank you all for joining and thank you all for giving me the opportunity.